And Carol Shaney from Shaney and Company. Your participating, your actions save one acre of trees. <laughs> So even some of the smaller businesses, if we could just ever get everybody to try to convince them to lower their energy consumption, which shouldn't be hard, but sometimes it is hard, you can lower your bottom line at the same time you can help the environment. So um, feel free to uh, pass the word around. Uh, whether you go to the gas station where you buy your gas or, or the grocery store, you can help them just like you helped yourselves. And, uh, I thank you for coming out today. I think Dennis, I wonder if, I think, uh, since someone mentioned it is difficult, the, the cost is prohibitive in the state of Maryland to do business. And we get calls monthly from North Carolina and from South Carolina to move. But uh, I think that, you know, it's a, it's a tough sell for a small business to spend money on anything. You know, we, we, uh, we've been there 12 years and uh, we've had some good years and some bad years. and. Uh, it's, a, it's an okay year, but we're constantly uh, looking to uh, cut costs. But we're not looking to spend money to cut costs. <laughs> it's probably not the right way to look at it, but that's the way you know, sometimes we go into a survival mode and feel like we're in a trench. You know? But uh, I think the UI is a partner with Manson Electric did a good job on uh, convincing us, if you will, that if we did spend some money, uh, and it was in the form of a loan that uh, uh, that uh, we would realize some savings. And there were a lot of other benefits, too. We're in a very, very old building. Our building was originally built to build trolley cars, so that's pretty old. And uh, our lighting was poor. We moved in there 12 years ago, and we had some lighting put in. But it, it wasn't real good. And we're printers. Uh, we manufacture business forms. And colors of ink and shades are very important. And you really need good light. <laughs> so it's uh, so they came in and we were a little bit skeptical, but it took two tries, two or three tries, and they came in and they presented it and they presented the savings. And the interesting thing is, uh, I have a very skeptical uh, bookkeeper, and uh, I mean, she looked at the bill. She said they said we were going to save three three hundred thirty two point six dollars per month. We are, you know, and it's it's nice in uh, this day and age to have someone or a company do and say and, and carry through and, and, and fulfill that uh, promise because you know business is difficult and we run into a lot of companies that uh, don't keep their word if you will. Uh, so it, it's been uh, it's been great. Our morale is better in the shop. It's, it was pretty dingy before. We didn't realize how dingy until we got some real lighting in <laughs> And uh, even in the office is awesome. So I, I, it's worked out really well for us. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Say something. Um, I have a public relations and marketing business, and our award will go right up on our homepage. So everyone that's looking at our website will see and get a little bit of information about this wonderful program. And I think you all made it very easy for us, and um, I, I would be happy to try and get the word out more. As I think I was telling Shelley, I also use a program that you have for homeowners, whereby I use my electricity more at night at a lower rate, and that has just been excellent. So thank you for offering us these opportunities. I do have something to say. Um, I just want to also well, thank the chamber because you know that's how we heard about this program, and so it's really important to let us know the things that are going on in the community. But also, one thing you know, UI because um, in presenting and doing the work, it was very easy. Um, they they didn't interfere with you know the the work that we do. They work with us, um, and um, this gives us the opportunity to provide the services, you know, to the 
a population that we serve, the mentally ill, we always find ourselves that the money that we need to, to help our clients is not there because we have to spend in, in other things, you know, utilities and other expenses. And I think this is a way to, you know, to give back some of that money. And we really are seeing that. So we, we really want to thank you, you know, Parents Foundation, you know, it's wants to move forward in the community to provide these services and this is a really good way that we're able to do that. So thanks. And um, from Jacob's standpoint, because now we have better lighting, our color sales have really been you know, up. Because now we can really see the true reds or the first oh. days. Before you like point. take the clients outside to make sure that the color was right, but I don't have to do that anymore. So thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, one thing that Bob uh, alluded to before, he said he played uh, just a small part in this, and uh, it was brought up what an important part you do because you help spread the word. Let, let people know the money is there and uh, we want to help. Before we uh, break up, I'd just like to add a couple things. Uh, number one, we would like to get uh, a group photo of the recipients with Louise. Um, and that's because the uh, Connecticut Energy Efficiency Fund has a newsletter that we put out, and you know, if we have good stories like this, we put that right on the front page. It goes to all the legislators so they can see the importance that the programs are really making. You know, so that's that's valuable. Um, and the second is, you know, everybody had some very nice things to say about the small business program. Um, it would be important to us if you could spread the word amongst your peers. Um, there's some brochures on the front table about the, the program. The, um, you know, you can talk to your peers, talk about the program, have them call the UI, and we'd be more than happy to extend the same services to them. So thank you and congratulations. Please help yourself to coffee. <laughs>